Wisconsin's sturgeon spearing season is next month, but a farm in Florida is working to keep the population strong, specifically one variety known for producing the best caviar. Here's a look inside the only beluga sturgeon caviar farm in the nation. We are introducing something that we created here. Robinson Orozco spends his days handling one of the world's oldest species of fish. The sturgeon. This is a very old fish. In physiology, it's very interesting because it's, a, it's not a bone fish. It's a chondrichthyes fish, it means that you have cartilage. Sturgeons are 250 million years old and predominantly come from the Caspian Sea. Several variations of the fish are endangered due to the lack of fishing regulations and pollution. Now this is a sturlet sturgeon and they come in all different shapes and sizes, but regardless of which type they are, the repopulation of them is important. Sturgeon Aqua Farms has been open for 10 years and has already sent three shipments of fertilized eggs back to the Caspian Sea. Congratulations from the first minister from uh, Azerbaijan, saying that they, he, he never saw that. Or the last time that he saw that it was almost 50 years ago. The unfertilized eggs are known as caviar, which is another facet of Sturgeon Aqua Farms' business, a facet that has gone through a tough stretch lately. After Michael, we have a lot of fish ready uh, to harvest the last year. But Michael came and said, no, I no agree. Hurricane Michael wiped out tens of thousands of sturgeons and the aqua farm itself is still recovering. Orozco said they've been able to get their count back up to around 40,000 and they've been able to adapt. We are harvesting uh, different, other, other different species, uh, sterlet, sebruga, but beluga we're gonna get at the end of this year. And the caviar they milk from the beluga can sell for as much as $200 an ounce.